Hi, welcome to Statfile. I'm your host, Gio, and today we're going to be talking about the Ontario Reign superstar, TJ Tynan. Whether you're a fan of the LA Kings affiliate team or not, there is no denying how much of a star that TJ Tynan has been for the team this season. He came second overall for points accrued with 98, which can be broken down into 14 goals and 84 assists, which is just one assist shy of the modern day AHL record, which is set by Jason Spezza back in the 2004-2005 season. One modern day AHL record which he did set however was power play assists where Tynan managed to achieve 46 which is a really big reason as to why his teammate Martin Frick managed to get in the top three for power play goals in the entire league this season. With all of these impressive stats you would expect his average points per game to be pretty high and you would be right. In fact TJ Tynan only came second in the league behind Evander Kane who admittedly only played five games this season so a little bit of a smaller sample size. Kane managed to get a 1.60 average of points per game, whereas Tynan got 1.58 average points per game with a lot more games. <laughs> Despite having a really impressive regular season, Tynan didn't actually show up in the playoffs quite as much as we may have expected. He only managed to get three points in the five games that the Ontario Reign played, whereas mathematically compared to his regular season, we would have expected him to have gotten at least eight in that time. This meant he ended up averaging just 0.6 points per game, which is a pretty far off from what he got in the regular season. Despite the disappointing and perhaps premature end to the Ontario Reigns run in the Calder Cup playoffs this year, TJ Tynan has very clearly been a big part of the team for them and gotten them a lot of juicy statistics this year. And so while his 2021 to 2022 season may be over, TJ Tynan is definitely a player to watch. Thank you for joining me on Statfile. I'll see you in the next episode.